All right, we are now in exercise number nine of uh, MasterCam multi-axis video tutorials. And uh, this exercise, we're going to learn how to set up the multi-surface operation and use that to machine this part right here. This is a solid part. Okay, you can notice there's a radius at the bottom. I'm not going to uh, be worried about the radius that's at the bottom right now. I'm only going to be machining the top surface right here. So that's what I mean by multi-surface operation. The multi-surface operation is that it doesn't have a smooth surface it's not just simply going down or up or it has a just one radius but it has a multi-surface you can see this is one surface over here uh, another surface right here if i put this into the front view i'm sorry the front view uh, there's one surface here another surface here another surface here those are all different surfaces that we're going to learn uh, how to machine on okay using the five axis milling so this exercise um, it's actually going to be located in your exercise folder uh, it is a 3 inch by 6 inch part, so if I put this in isometric view, this is going to be 6 inch long, uh, 3 inch wide, and about 1.1 uh, 1 or a little bit less, a little bit more than an inch, a little bit less than 1.1. So the stock that we'll be using is going to be 1.1 inch stock. Now to open this, come over here under File and Open, and these files will be located in your exercise number 9 folder. Now, you can do the start. The start just means that this is your starting MasterCam X already. Everything is defined for you. So you can uh, double click on that and you can, um, if I do that for you real quick, I'm going to say no. Uh, the part will start out for you. You're going to see this line right here that is created and I'll show you how to do this real quick. And it's already set up for you in five access table. But for us, uh, let me just show you guys if you don't have this set up. Uh, say you have another version of MasterCam and you want to uh, do this uh, on your own. Uh, go ahead and click on Open and click on Exercise 9 I just File. You can also click on I just, um, Exercise 9 Model and this will be your SolidWorks model. Now, I like to save my SolidWorks model as I just Files because uh, MasterCam then clearly and easily uh, you know, creates the surfaces for me uh, right away instead of an entire model. If you just... Uh, import the SOLIDWORKS model, it'll just create the entire part as one model but with the I just file I can select different surfaces while I'm machining much easier. It's almost like everything is pre-done for me so I just select the I just file, click on open and put in an isometric view and there's your part right there. So if I put this into solid format shaded it will show up my solid model with all my surfaces on top. Now again in this exercise all I want to do is uh, machine the top surface right here and let's go ahead and set this up first. Okay, so first and foremost, I want to create um, the machine type, which is going to be the five axis. So once I create this, I don't want the mill default to be there. So just select the machine group, hit delete, and it's gone. You only want your five axis table uh, head vertical uh, to be selected over here. Uh, one thing I want to do is uh, also create a line. What I want to do is you can create this line anywhere you want on top of the part or even at the bottom, but I'd like to uh, uh, create the geometry on top. And the reason for that is I'm going to use this line as a guidance for my entire, uh, for my tool uh, to be guided by that line. It's going to be a line that's going to be the length of the part and it's going to be above our part. And it's literally just to guide us, guide the tool back and forth as it's machining this entire part. So let's go ahead and do this. I'm just going to click on my line. And under X, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit 0, tab, 3, tab, 4, enter. And it will create a line right up, right up top there. You can see it right there. So this is going to be right above the, the, uh, that end of the part. And now I'm going to do 0, negative 3, 4, enter. And this should end up right on the other side. So if I click on my top view and zoom out, you can see the line starts up here to here but it is above our part. And that's exactly what I want. So hit apply and then hit OK. Okay, so then now you, that you have this set up, you can click on uh, the option over here and select tool settings. Let's go ahead and select assign tool number sequentially, uh, one of duplicate tool numbers and the following options as we've done before. And then go ahead and click on stack. And then let's define this for the stock. So click on display we already know it's going to be 6 by 3 as I told you, but this is going to be 1.1 inches. It's going to be a little bit bigger than uh, 1 inch from the bottom base of here to the top base over here. Okay, so now for the Z axis, type in 0.6. 
okay and then hit the okay mark and there you go now you can see the box all around your part you can see that it covers all the part just like we want we want to make sure that our stock uh, that our stock uh, covers all of our part and especially on top we want the stock to be uh, over the surface that we're machining so now that you have this set up uh, just go ahead and save it this is what I have saved as my uh, exercise 9 start so from now on uh, we will be learning uh, how to set up the multi-surface operation to machine this surface so first in our next session we're going to be learning how to uh, rough the surface and this the session after that, we're going to learn how to finish it. So there's going to be a roughing operation, a finishing operation. And then we'll learn how to place it in a simulation, uh, in simulation to see the entire process uh, working. Okay? And this concludes uh, this session.